Hey everyone, Corey here coming in to do our monthly channel message. This is going to be for March 2023. I believe in the weekly, I might have even said 2022. Whoopsers. <laughs> but it was for 2023, so there is some slip back. So kind of you may be refacing um, some of the things that you have been, that you had to face and deal with or that you didn't actually deal with back in the beginning of 2022. You may find yourself having those things coming back up. Um, you may also notice that moving into March, you may find yourself being triggered. So you may be noticing some um, reactivation of the things that you thought you had neutralized, the things that you thought you had gotten you know, under control. I got this shit covered, but then realizing I don't really have this shit fixed and I don't, I don't have this shit figured out, not fixed, but figured out. And so you will be possibly feeling the effects of this now until, and this is on the 27th of February, now until the beginning weeks of March. March feels like a big, um, a, a big busy freaking month in a lot of ways. But I also feel like it's like, there was some weird light just happened. Um, but I also feel like don't rush things that that don't need to be rushed. We just spoke with this in the week because the week, the weekly rolls into March. And it's like, um, if you're if you are content with who you are, don't let don't let the world outside fear you into feeling like you have to make changes that that you don't really feel you have to make that you're not really that it's like, why do I need to do that? If I'm content, if I'm if I'm happy. Um, if I'm at peace with myself, why do I have to cause chaos? Why do I have to get into more drama? Why do I have to get, why do I have to stay so fucking busy at stuff? That's kind of where it is. And like, just be, you know, be true to yourself. Don't be true to the masses. Be true to yourself. Don't be true to the masses. Allowing yourself to get into the flow, allowing yourself to really, truly trust you. And knowing that, you know, there is going to be this I, I just got these waves of energy. So I just keep seeing like massive people running and, and then just people, you know, trampling over each other to get going. And I just, and I keep seeing it like a big crowd moving. And I'm like, stay back, wait, or find your way on the outside of things. Don't get caught in the middle of things. So don't get yourself caught in the middle of chaos, drama. Notice that it's going to be there, but find yourself Find your way around the outskirts of it. That is coming up like, and I keep seeing it over and over again. So I know there's something to this. So you may find yourself being, you know, being in the center of something or wanting to bring online like the, that old self or, you know, something from the beginning of 2022 that didn't fully get dealt with may be appearing. And it feels like it's like just everything comes flying in at once, but it's also to, um, be aware that you don't have to become a part of it. You don't have to be involved in it. It is, it is not for, it's not for where you're going. And so it's like where you're going and what you're doing is a whole different ball game than some of the things that you are witnessing, um, that you're witnessing others do. So you can, you can stay content and at peace with where you are. So March has a, um, March has a lot of, I keep seeing two worlds, two energies. It's like I'm seeing the a battery, the ends of the batteries. And then I keep seeing this, this like tunnel energy. So going from here, crossing over into here, or these two are meeting in the middle. Like I just keep seeing another, like an, a big bang, like a, an explosion and um, like the positive and the negative meeting. So integration regeneration are words that are really truly coming online for me that I'm really hearing. Um, and so being able to be fully, to be able to meet in the middle, meet in the middle. So being able to resolve also some of our underlying um, concerns that may have been arising for ourselves to be able to make peace with is going to be huge coming into 2000, into, into March of 2023. Um, and March has a lot of powerful energy here as well. And of course, March, you got the two fish. So that would make sense too, that I keep seeing the twos, right? And so I keep seeing this two and this two coming together and meeting in the middle and just being able to make peace to come into a calmer state of being within ourselves. And when we're at a, when we're calmer, when we're more at peace within ourselves, we can make wiser choices and decisions. You're not being so reactive 
to what is happening outside of ourselves or what we are being kind of, you know, the, the Kool-Aid that we're being, that we're often being sold sometimes, right? Like the, that whole, you know, drink this, fall into this, you know, really embrace all of this. It's okay to be okay. And it's okay to not be, it's okay to not want to be jumping ship on, on everything in your life. It's okay to say, I'm just content. It's okay to say that's not for me. It's okay to think for yourself. And so there is a sense of individuality that is, that is we're giving birth to a new sense of being able to really truly think for ourselves again. Imagine if you don't, if we don't think for ourselves, somebody else will think for us and we are grown ass adults and we need to be able to think for ourselves because these are not designed for children. These are created for us to be able to, this is for the 18 and over. So, you know, this is for us that have, that are able to really honestly think for ourselves, to be able to have our own minds and um, and to be able to free ourselves of a lot of old programming and and of any programming that, that doesn't really align to us. And so I always say, you know, this was my big thing. And I'm and this is coming up again right now for me, is the sense of, you know, we often we often come to this place of, you know, awakening or you know, bringing ourselves into this sense of spirituality of being able to, you know, embrace our own human, to live our best self, to be connected to our human, to attach to our feelings, to be able to discover, to be curious, to not to be feared into faith. But in the same breath, it is also about taking ourselves outside the boxes and not to, you know, have to be so to this is how things are done. We do this, this, and this, this step will happen. Oh, you mean you haven't achieved that? Oh, well, you're not awakened or, oh, your uh, judgment, right? Judgment, criticism. And it's like, mm, we escape that. But it's funny how you have to find so many people still have to find the comforts of control and the comforts of being able to create a new program or to be in a new program or to find, you know, something to, to resonate to, or to create, I got, I got all the answers. I got all the rules. I got all the way. And I know how to do things. And when you, when you have all the answers or you feel like you really, truly know everything, it's a good time to step back. We fall from our high horse. And, you know, I wake up every day and I say the big, beautiful thing I've learned about mastering life is to wake up every day as if I know nothing. And to work and to allow that great wisdom to be able to speak through me and to and to, through me and to me, but first to me. And so there is this sense of, you know, you may have been feeling the pressures to have to conform into and to lose that sense of peace and contentment that you that you are good enough, that you are enough and have to keep moving beyond there. What we often do in, in more than existing is like we're we're working from the place you are okay you're imperfectly perfect but we're we're really tweaking those things that that are getting clear on what is my values what matters to me how much of my how much of my thinking is somebody else thinking for me right and so march is really truly about being able to kind of collide that energy of is am i thinking for myself or is somebody else thinking for me who's thinking for me who's thinking am i act am i am i acting out Am I reacting to? Am I responding to? And question that within yourself to know that, you know, you have to be able to think for yourself. And I went back to an old deck, just like I keep saying, we have the, we have the old, we have the old ancient wise ones, the, you know, that are returning to this earthly plane in a way of the angelic realm that are coming in. I feel like it's that, you know, that sense of the seraphim that is closest to the angelic realm and the holy realm. I just feel the sense of, of our holy realm, our, our Christ, like our Christ light, uh, Jesus, Mary, 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 mother, Mary, Mary Magdalene, that sense of that energy is so present this month as we're being, as we're moving from, you know, we're, we're, it's like a turtle or a, or a hermit crab. We're just leaving one shell and, you know, and, and moving into a new shell, but how many people are going to be inside of that shell type of thing, right? It's like, it's like, are in the, knowing that you are safe with you, 
and that you can be safe with you and that you can trust yourself. When you learn enough about yourself, you can learn to be able to trust yourself, to be able to integrate, to not be afraid to turn around and face the things about ourselves that we need to face and look at our own behaviors, our own habits, our own actions and reactions, taking that responsibility for our own part that we play in, in um, victimizing ourselves in, or you know, even what we do in our own families by judgment and criticism and not letting people be who they truly are, taking away the, you know, robbing people of that authentic authenticity of themselves all the way back into childhood. It never was cool, never going to be cool. And this is kind of that, that restoration. So I went all the way back to the Mary Queen and Angels cards of, of, of Mother Mary, which I, which were my staple for so long. And, um, and I had to go back to them today and I got the card hope. So March is going to be about that sense of hope and restoring that hope, giving, you know, that regeneration, like I said, that recharge regeneration to bring back, uh, you know, if we've been, if we don't have to rush all the way out, because April is going to be a more of the active month, but March gives us an opportunity to get back into the flow, to get back into who do we need to be. And I trust that God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me. So when we let go of the control, no one else can get to your destiny. No one else can take what was designed for you. No one else can use your key to open the door to your future. Nobody. It just sits stagnant if, if, if you don't walk into it, but nobody else is taking it. Nobody else is getting ahead of you in line. So you can sit back, you can sit in your own energy, you can keep working on creating, but breaking free of a whole lot of, of this sense of, oh my God, I only got this much time because the astrological, you know, every astrological report, every reading I get that, that I'm watching the general reading, it's like, oh my God, it's now or never. If I don't do this now, all of that way of communicating leads us into back into reactivating that that trauma response to how we react right and so it's that fight or flight that freeze and often the first thing i know i do is for me i'm a freeze so it's like if something feels like it's like i'm being pushed into something that my body doesn't feel ready for or it doesn't feel i'm not getting the yes from the essence of of my spirit, of, of my, of trusting that inner self. If I'm not getting the yes and everyone's like, oh my God, you got to do it now. If you don't do this, you're going to miss out. Then I freeze and I kind of get stuck. Whereas if I allow myself to come into that state of being and really listening to the greater wisdom, I will move in that sense. I will move in the flow of getting things moving and going and start it and we can prep, you know, build before we build, blue, create the blueprints, but not to feel like there's a list or that you got to, you know, what was that goal? You need to get to that goal. Now you're running out of time. This new world is, this old world is collapsing and this new world is beginning. Yeah. In ways it is, but if you're, if it's your world and it's your world to create. And so you can be blueprinting and planning but your ship is not leaving without you. Your ship is waiting for you to be able to get to you. So recognize, I feel like this is a month to really, truly soften your gaze. Uh, release yourself from being so caught in the objective of, of got to get there now or never kind of energy and care enough to be kind and gentle to the versions of yourself or the versions of your life, the pieces of your life that need that need that attention so that you're not neglecting, avoiding the things that are going to be important to you moving forward. And so then we have coming in, we have the feminine. And as I said, I have the strong presence of the Marys that are with us. And this Marys brings, um, I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. And so feminine could be soft, but strong and powerful, 
but this also ties into our strong connection to our intuition and being able to trust your own intuition, getting to that place of, you know, what does my gut tell me? What's my body telling me? What do I feel? What am I hearing? So in that sense of being able to not get lost in the, in the crowds, in the shuffle, in the chaos, in the drama, not to get lost out there, it gives you the opportunity to sit in a place of silence with the self that we're always running from. And to be present with that version of ourselves, to be able to listen to what are my true needs? What do I need? What world am I going to be creating? What, what do I need to create in this world? Or what do I need to finish up in this world? A clean house before I even move into a new state of being a new world. Maybe I still got things to clean up and it's okay. I don't have to rush. I got time to do this. And, um, and I have the keys. I have the keys. Only you have the keys to what is waiting for you. And so then we have the card caring. Heaven cares for me. And I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. So caring, I always say caring, it goes deeper than the compassion. And because caring means sometimes you've got to really look at where and how we are responding to you know, the world or to the habits that we have. And so there is a lot of eruption kind of energy that I feel happening. And I, I just keep seeing these shuffles. I keep still keep seeing these collapses of big establishments and the narcissists are, I just feel like almost like that sense of, of narcissistic behavior or tendencies of those trying to play God and they see them falling from cities and towns, like out, people in charge of big organizations or the head of, of corporations, whatever it may be that are doing things either underhandedly that have been trying to play God or trying to sell something, trying to take, get that sense of control over people. And I just feel like there is a massive amount of awareness, like the mother energy is stepping in and that mother divine mother energy that steps in is there to protect her children. And I feel like the protection of the children of the everyday people is much more important than the protection of, of a small collective energy. That is a, it is the, it is the collective shadow energy, as we like to call it, the collective shadow energy that has been able to trigger and reactivate that shadowy energy in a massive, in the masses. And I just feel like it's like, the light is starting to shine in on it. We're starting to see things take, have a turnaround, have a change that is happening. So changes in the air. Now, the other deck I want to pull out that, that, that I was guided towards is my own, the everyday goddess Oracle. And see, we have, we have, hmm, we have attachment. We have Beatrice and, you know, she is, she's murky. She's kind of, she looks like she's like, being shaken type of thing, but it's like all these layers of herself. And, you know, what are we attached to? What, you know, what story are we attached to? What piece of our identity are we attached to? What do we refuse to let go of? What are we sometimes believing about ourselves or about others or about life that is, you know, can be sometimes crippling to us. And the bee really represents that, you know, every humans and bees are similar in creating communities and colonies and joining together. We are so alike that way. And it's like, so the bees have that one queen and they're there to serve that one queen. Well, within ourselves, we have that one divine essence that we're here to serve. And that is, and that is the highest good for all of humanity, the highest good within ourselves. And if we all were better, if we all be the best human we could be, it means that we'd have an open heart and an open mind and we'd be a lot more accepting and we wouldn't be feeding into the narratives of the things that divide and separate us. And so she's looking into the world to create and that's, that's allowing her to believe that she can't fly, that she can't make her choices and her decisions. Or is she looking in and she's starting to see the world for what it is? She's recognizing that she's not she's, she is of this, she's not of this world. She's a part of this world, right? She's a part of it. She's not, she's a part of it. She's not of it. So she gets to be a part of this world, but not of this world, that we are so much more 
than that world that we create. But I'm telling you, there is a there is a massive shakeup that's on a global level, a global awareness that is like awakening masses or just like shaking up the world in such big ways and bringing back online individual thinking, like the the sense of being able to to in the think about what do I need to create my best life, but also to then know that, you know, the being able to defy all odds is to be able to be a part of community, to be a part of together. But what kind of community do we want to be a part of? What kind of energy do we want to be to be a collective energy with? And so if you have to lose yourself to be a part of something, if you're not allowed to be you, if you have not allowed to think for yourself, you're not allowed to feel for yourself. If you have to be everything that you get a gut feeling that don't feel right, but then you're being told, well, you just have to let that go because you can't think that way. You can't feel that way. You can't question that. Then if, what's going to happen to us? So instead of becoming a better world, a better society, we'll become a world of monsters. We'll become a, a world of, of awakening that darkness within us on a deeper level. And we'll be living in the shadows of, we'll be living in the shadows of the shadows. And instead of living in the, letting our light walk first and our shadow will be walking ahead of us. And so we'll never be able to be, how do we find happiness and joy when we're not allowed to discover what joy really means for us? Think about that. Allow yourself to do, you know, where do where does that feel like it's not um, existing within our world sometime, and um, and that's coming up hugely. And so the mother energy is coming in to nurture us to kind of give us a shake, putting our winter coat, taking our winter coat off, and putting the spring jacket on, maybe, and just saying, you know what? Just because somebody told you it's too cold, and then you believed you were too cold, but you weren't because the sun is shining, and maybe you don't need so much protection and so much clothing. Maybe you can start to strip back down. Maybe you can trust yourself and maybe you can think for yourself on whether or not you want to put a hat on your head. It's, it's just like all of a sudden, and I said this over the past few years, I'm like, since when did we need a news station to tell us that today is going to be cold in the middle of winter? I live in Alberta um, and, you know, winters could be minus 30. And when it says minus 30, since when did I need somebody on a news station to tell me to put my mittens and my hats on and dress, dress warm? Since when did I need someone to tell me that, to announce that, to make that a part of the conversation, to tell me to do that? Why do we need that? Why are those the things that we think we need now? And why does somebody think that they have to give that kind of opinion out to a world that I believe we should, we should have the, the knowledge, the com that I'm going to say, common sense to know that if, if it's cold, we should dress appropriately, right? If it's warm, then we could dress appropriately. But when we learn to trust ourselves again, have faith in ourselves again, we restore the hope in humanity that, you know what? We can be individuals and have our own minds and think for ourselves and do the right things for the right reasons. And oh, wow, I'll know to put a hat on if it's cold. If I choose to put a hat on, maybe I don't want to put a hat on. Maybe I don't want to put mitts on. Rather, maybe I'd rather have cold hands. Who knows? But I'll decide. So moving into this, into these next few months is I decide. Individuality, I will decide. I will decide. I will decide. And we're seeing that awakening more and more and more. And that's where I was talking about in the, even the weekly. It's like, you know, it's like, if you don't feel like you know, even though the objective is like, oh my God, you got to get on the ship. You got to get to this new world. You got to get to this place. Blah. I'll decide if I'm ready or not. I'll decide what's right for me. I'll decide what's right for my family. You're just going to see a lot more of that. That's what's coming back to us. Coming back to me now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. That's, I can all think for myself. I can remember that I got my own mind. I got my own body and this is my body and I'm not going to keep escaping my body. I'm not going to keep leaving my body. I'm going to stay with my body and I'm going to not neglect and leave behind the things that are most important. That's a huge part of our March message coming into creator of worlds. And this is, this is the enchanted alchemist. And you know, the tree has been cut, but the roots are there, the stumps there. We've got, we've got what it takes to be able to, to be able to quote and learn, discover, to 
to create our own world. And you are the creator of your world. You are not the objective of what somebody else tells you that if you do a step-by-step, -step, if that's the way you live your life and the only way you live your life, will you be it? What are your core values? What means the most to you? What's important to you? Where, you know, restoring that sense of hope and humanity that, that we find our way back into this, find our way back into grace and allowing the voice of grace to speak for us and through us. And we just got this divine mother coming in that's just saying, it's time for me to really truly help my children, to help these children to be able to children. So it's a lot of inner child healing work being done on a, a massive, quick, fast, fast track, a fast track into being able to evolve those emotions to grow because there is the sense of grace and there's grace, giving, giving a voice to grace to show ourselves mercy, but giving a voice to grace and what it means to be able to truly give a voice to grace, to be that sense of that soft and gentleness, to know that, you know, I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creations. I am filled with the same beauty poise, and divine protection as all of God's other's creations. So why would I feel as if I do not have this? And so just this, this beautiful, soft whisper. And when you, you get silent and quiet and you let the whisper speak to you, it's amazing what can unfold and what can happen. But you get to decide. I decide. That's our mantra. I decide. Much love. Have a beautiful month. And I will see you back here in, um, in another recording next week. <laughs> Much love. Bye-bye.